reading is taken from Matthew 17, beginning at verse 1. Six days later, Jesus took Peter and the two brothers, James and John, and led them up a mountain to be alone. As the men watched, Jesus' appearance was transformed, so that his face shone like the sun and his clothes became as white as light. Suddenly, Moses and Elijah appeared and began talking with Jesus. Peter blurted out, Lord, it's wonderful for us to be here. If you want, I'll make, a, uh, make three shelters as memorials, one for you, one for Moses and one for Elijah. But even as he spoke, a bright cloud came over them and a voice from the cloud said, this is my dearly loved son who brings me great joy. Listen to him. The disciples were terrified and fell face down on, on the ground. Then Jesus came over and touched them. Get up, he said, don't be afraid. And when they looked, they saw only Jesus. As they went back down the mountain, Jesus commanded them, don't tell anyone what you have seen until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. Then his disciple asked him, why do the teachers of religious law insist that Elijah must return before the Messiah comes? Jesus replied, Elijah is indeed coming first to get everything ready for the Messiah, but I tell you, Elijah has already come, but he wasn't recognised, and they chose to abuse him, and in the same way they will also make the Son of Man suffer. Then the disciples realised he was talking about John the Baptist. At the foot of the mountain, a large crowd was waiting for them. A man came and knelt before Jesus and said, Lord, have mercy on my son. He has seizures and suffers terribly. He often falls into the fire or into the water. So I brought him to your disciples, but they couldn't heal him. Jesus replied, You faithless and corrupt people, how long must I be with you? How long must I put up with you? Bring the boy to me. Then Jesus rebuked the demon in the boy and it left him. From that moment, the boy was well. Afterwards, the disciples asked Jesus privately, why couldn't we cast out that demon? You don't have enough faith, Jesus told them. I tell you the truth, if you had faith, even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to the mountain, move from here to there, and it would move. Nothing would be impossible. Amen. <laughs>